Hey, hello folks, back on the Mark II again today, it's not going to be quite as long as what we wanted it to because um, paying work coming through the door was getting prioritised as it should be. Um, first thing I'm doing is cleaning off the leftover under seal from the inner arch just so we can see where we've got a clean line to cut for the repair panel to go on. Once we've got all that out and cleaned back then as you'll see a little bit further on in the video I get to chopping all of the arch out comes out in one piece it wasn't too difficult of a job it was just awkward lying on the back doing it sort of thing finally there's the hole we're left with there's a decent section to go back in but it's gonna be easier than if i was to do it the other way around under the inner arch first just because we had no reference point to it when it came to cutting the outer arch off so we've had to do it this way around me personally i find it easier to do it this way because you can line the outer arch up where it needs to be weld that in you can get to the back of it to body work it and then all it is is just cutting the inner arch panel to size and getting it welded in. It's by far the easiest way I've found of doing this sort of repair. As you've just seen, we've cut the inner arch out extremely rotten i'll show you a little snippet of what's left in a second but um i've done it mainly so now i can get to the back side of this so anywhere like here where there's a decent gap i can stick a backer on there weld it up nice and happy but what i'm also going to do once i've finished welding everything ground it all back i can then get in behind it with a hammer and dolly smooth it out perfectly flat so it will need as little filler as possible. Let's get cracking.
then this is where the backer comes into play. See? doesn't stick to the actual dolly I know you're supposed to use some brass or copper or whatever they say you've got to use but I've never welded this to a car yet so I'm going to keep using it I know you may have noticed as well I'm putting a bit more heat into it than I normally would. That's purely because I don't care about warping it anymore because I can get to the back and dolly it back out. So now I'm just going to go for it, get it finished welded.
Right then, we've got it all welded in, or as much as what I think it needs. We're going to grind it back now, see where we left. Well, we put quite a bit of heat into the panel on this part and it's why I've not really gone all guns blazing at the weld because once I hammer this bit out here it'll bring it up so I'll be able to grind it smooth same in a few other places I've not concentrated too much on sinking the weld down because you can't see it but just there I can feel it just dips in slightly so I'll hammer it out, then I'll grind it, and the welds will disappear. Going round. Some of the welds have disappeared completely, where we've not had to put that much heat into the panel. But as I say, I wasn't too bothered about putting heat in the panel, because now I can get to the back of it. But, that is now the arch, fully welded on. So here we go. What we're going to do first, we're going to knock where the welds are high so then we can grind the welds back and then flatten the panel properly otherwise you'll just end up with a divot where the weld is. So let's start giving. One of the chunks of filler just fell out of one of the uh, rear spat holes. Left over from the last repair, not this one.
get a load of noise made with the grinder. Here, defenders, because I'm already all <laughs> half deaf. And for the eagle eyed amongst us, you will shortly see me break one of my body working hammers. If you look just in front of the shock, you'll see where the end falls off. Well, in terms of grinding, welding, all the rest of it, that's as far as we're going to go. He was never planning on being a uh, zero filler repair, but it's just not having quarter inch of filler. Now, all of this, it's extremely smooth. Could it be better? Definitely. Am I going to make it better? No. <laughs> So at that point, we're going to call it a day today because it turned out to be a little bit more work than what we were planning and other jobs have unfortunately once again took priority. In the next video, this bit of the sill's coming off. We're unsure where we're going to actually put the sill on. We might do the entire sill up to the pinch weld here for one reason, when this so-called repair was done last time when the pop riveted the sills on <clears throat> if you can see it and we have confirmed this with a straight edge just to make sure that it wasn't the door right about there on the door when the camera focuses it dips down so i think what they've done when they've been joining the sill under this strip they've put too much heat into it and it's rolled the panel down so we might be putting a complete sill in as opposed to chopping it by that um, sill trim clip as we would normally but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it hopefully this one's been somewhat entertaining it's been a lot of grinding more than anything 
but that's just where we are on a car like this cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye you're now going to see some still shots that i took just to show the profile of the arch how the welds have cleaned up and finally fitting of the actual plastic arch trim just to make sure that i hadn't gone too far one way or the other with it and i'm pleased to say i didn't